we think that South Africa can regain comparative advantage. As I mentioned before, the old comparative advantage of South Africa was based on cold fire, cheap, reliable electricity. Coal is not going to be favored in the market of the future. It may be used in the transition to 2050, but South Africa has the capacity to generate cheap, reliable, green energy. And that could open up new forms of comparative advantage. In fact, we think more broadly. We think that the issue in South Africa is not so much to focus on your own emissions. The South Africa can be more ambitious. It can think about what can the country do to help a world that wants to reduce its emissions? What can South Africa do to help the world decarbonize? And we think that there's a big role for South Africa in this space. South Africa could be producing the things that a, a, a decarbonizing world wants to buy, where is going to need. A decarbonizing world is a world that is going to electrify everything that can be electrified and will try to make that electricity in green ways. That is a whole set of industries that need to expand in order to provide that need. Electricity implies metals, metals implies minerals. There cannot be a decarbonization process without a mining boom. South, South, South Africa is a mining country. It has mining resources. It has mining technology. It has critical minerals. It has mineral processing capacity. So there is a lot that can be done. Industries that could grow very rapidly, exploiting not only those resources, natural resources, but the know-how that has been built in South Africa around those industries. In addition, I, we think that a, a, you know, the markets are going to change in very significant ways. You are a major producer of in, in, internal combustion engine vehicles. That industry is going to shift to electric vehicles. Um, how quickly can you shift to electric vehicles? How quickly can you become a supplier of the batteries and the inputs that those electric vehicles and those electric batteries are going to need? Um, uh, here, here uh, there is there is a set of of uh, interesting initiatives in South Africa that we highlight in the report, where we think that you have uh, already some you know um, uh, green shoots, uh, but that can become really important sources of comparative advantage. We discussed the case of, for for example, vanadium uh, flow redox batteries uh, that. Uh, would provide grid scale storage for systems that use your ability to produce vanadium, that use your ability to refine products, uh, and that would solve you know, a, a global need. We, we discuss uh, the role of critical minerals uh, in the, in the um, uh, membranes that are needed to make fuel cells, and we think the fuel cell market is going to expand very significantly, and the membranes that are needed for uh, electrolyzers, so in any case, I won't go further into it. There is a big chapter on making the things that the world is going to need to decarbonize. We call that strategy one. There are three strategies. Strategy two is to make in South Africa in a green way, things that are currently done in the world in a gray way. And in this second strategy, we are exploiting one little fact about the, the, the hydrocarbon world. And that is that oil, coal are incredibly energy dense. They pack a whole lot of energy per unit of volume and per unit of weight. And that makes them incredibly cheap to transport. And that made the world what we call energetically flat. It meant that energy poor countries could become competitive in energy intensive products. If they didn't have the energy, no problem. They just brought it in. It was very cheap to import energy. Green energy is not that way. It's very hard to move. And as a consequence, 
the world is going to shift from making energy intensive things anywhere to making energy intensive things in places that have local cheap sources of green energy. And we think that South Africa can develop green industrial parks that use only green energy, that those green parks can happen alongside, you know, you're still coal fire power plants in the rest of the, of the country that you will be decommissioning as, you know, according to your nationally determined contributions. But that in these green parts, you're going to attract investment in energy intensive activities to produce green products. It, it can be the products along the hydrogen line, whether it's green hydrogen, green ammonia. We think that there's more value to be created there. There is, um, a, there is green steel a, a, and you know, the green processing of minerals. Um, that you know currently emit a lot of a lot of CO2. The world is going to demand cleaner versions of that. So we think that in this strategy too, uh, you can uh, do things in a green way in South Africa that will displace these gray ways of doing things that currently use easily transportable hydrocarbons. So you can use your location as a source of comparative advantage. Here, interestingly, uh, you've developed. You are the world's leader in this so-called Fisher trope process that you developed in order to transform coal into liquid hydrocarbons. That process that Sasol has mastered can transform CO2 into liquid hydrocarbons. And that can be also another green way of doing things in South Africa for the world. Maybe you can get there to sustainable aviation fuels. So that's our strategy two. And our strategy three is simply to export knowledge. You are already doing it in the mining industry. Uh, you know, South African miners are some of the best miners in the world. South African mining companies are some of the most competitive uh, global players in the world. Uh, we think that in, in, the, in the green area, uh, there's a lot of know-how that needs to move. The world is going to need, you know, solar panel farms and wind farms, and 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 somebody is going to have to do the engineering, procurement, and construction of all of these projects. Somebody, people will want to use electrolyzers. They will want to use Fisher trope. They will want to use things in which South Africa can become good at and export those services. So we think that that's a third strategy where we think there's a big role for South Africa. So we're optimistic that yes, we need to recover state capacity and state capacity is crucial. Yes, we need to create more inclusive cities so that we can use the willingness to work of more of South Africans. But I, we think that a decarbonizing world creates new opportunities for the country and we're optimistic that these opportunities can be harnessed.